Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from the uterine cervix and we are actually looking at a case of carcinoma in situ here. But first, let me orientate you. So here is the mucosa of the cervix and on the left side, we have the ectocervix, which is composed of non-keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. And moving towards this edge, this is the endocervix, which is comprised of columnar mucinous epithelium. So let's take a very quick look at the endocervix, and we can see that it is lined by these columnar cells with basal nuclei, and sometimes the endocervical cells dip into the underlying stroma. We can see very nicely the basal nuclei and the tall column of kind of grayish bluish cytoplasm because it is rich in mucin. Now the presence of these endocervical glands dipping into the stroma is a normal finding and it does not represent adenocarcinoma. Again we can see that the cells are all very bland with very uniform basally oriented nuclei. Now let's look at the surface epithelium. And the entire length of the ectocervix in this particular section is abnormal. But first, let me show you what normal ectocervical epithelium looks like. In the normal uterine cervix, the ectocervical epithelium is non-keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. So this example shows polarity of the nuclei and by this I mean that the basal most nuclei tend to be darker and there tend to be higher NC ratios whereas as you go towards the surface the nuclei get a little bit smaller the cells appear a bit more flattened and there is a lot more cytoplasm hence there is a lower NC ratio this maturation is a good sign that we are not looking at neoplastic squamous epithelium. So this is the benign cervix with maturation and preservation of nuclear polarity. So returning to the case at hand, I'm just going to zoom in to the stratified squamous epithelium. And we can see that the cells appear quite jumbled up, quite disorganized. There is loss of nuclear polarity, meaning that you don't really see this flattening towards the surface. Instead, the nuclei appear to be equally plump throughout all the layers of the squamous epithelium. And also the NC ratios are still very high, even though this is so superficial in the squamous epithelium. So there is loss of nuclear polarity. And if we look at individual nuclei, we can see that the nuclear outlines are quite irregular. The chromatin is coarse. Let me just move around a little bit. Here again, we have irregular nuclear outlines. We have quite hyperchromatic nuclei. We also have mitotic figures. And this mitotic figure is really located very superficially, almost right at the surface of the squamous epithelium. In benign squamous epithelium, we may see some mitotic figures close to the basal layers, but generally not above the middle half. The presence of mitotic figures in the middle and the most superficial regions of the stratified squamous epithelium usually is a sign of dysplasia. So this epithelium is dysplastic or neoplastic. However, we can see that there is no invasion through the basement membrane into the stroma. Hence, this neoplastic process is still limited to the stratified squamous mucosa and it is present in the full thickness of the mucosa. Hence, this is carcinoma in situ. Other names for this include high-grade dysplasia as well as high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion or high sil. So all these names mean that there is still no invasion through the basement membrane. If there were invasion through the basement membrane into the stroma, this diagnosis would be squamous cell carcinoma. And if this lesion is entirely removed surgically, the patient will be cured and there is no risk of metastases. Of course, the patient will still have to be followed up. So in conclusion, we are looking at an example of carcinoma in situ involving the ectocervix and we can see that there is loss of nuclear polarity in the stratified squamous epithelium. 
there are high NC ratios throughout the full thickness of the mucosa, there are irregular nuclear membranes, there is coarse chromatin, and there are also mitotic figures present even in the superficial third of the mucosa. Thank you.